Hi, this is Mike with Super Swivel. Today I'm going to demonstrate rebuilding one of our swivels. The one we're going to work on today is one of our double ball car wash swivels. First thing we're going to want to do, put on a pair of safety glasses, and we're going to want to remove this greaser and this bolt. You're going to want to save this bolt, and just set that aside. The zerk that you took off is garbage. You can also get rid of that greaser. Now, both of these holes are full of balls. What we like to do is soak this in some solvent. What it's going to do is liquefy all the grease that might be left inside here. It'll help the balls fall out. This one's already been done. So what we're going to do is just hold it upside down, twist the fitting, hopefully all the balls will fall right out for us, and turn it over, give it another twist. Now, I want to give it a pull, if it doesn't come apart, the trick we like to use is to blow across this hole with an air nozzle, that's where the safety glasses come into play, they'll come flying out of there pretty good. Okay, pop right out. So, give it a tug. There. So we got it apart. We'll set the body aside for now. Now, all of these seals are garbage. So what I like to do to get them out is just cut them out with a knife. There. Now, all the seals that I took off and all the balls that came out are garbage, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Now, most of our double ball car wash swivels are obviously used in a car wash, and they do get pretty corroded. So you want to make, make sure to inspect these real well, make sure they're not corroded, make sure there's no pits or anything like that. Take a look inside the body, run your finger inside there, make sure there's no grooves, that way it'll seal real well for you. I'm going to assume yours is okay if you're rebuilding it. So at this point, what we're ready to do is cut open our seal kit. And the seal kit will tell you what kind of seals it has, the size, the fact that it has two rows of balls. If you flip it over, you can see all your, all your seals, all your balls, and an extra greaser. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it open. This is an instruction sheet. As you can see, it's got a little diagram of our swivel. It shows how all the seals go on. It's got a pretty good description here of, of how to put it back together. This is important. You'll definitely want to read this before you try rebuilding one. Refer to it as you go as you need to. So I'll just go ahead and dump all this out. Now, the first groove we're going to want to deal with is this one right down here. The only one that's going to fit there is this little black washer. The rest of these, once you get it open, you'll see they won't fit. So, stretch that down there. You don't have to worry about stretching this out too much. Just get it down in that groove. Okay? Now in your seal kit, you had a bag that was separate from the rest of it. The reason we do that is because these two look just like the one you just put on, and we don't want you to get them mixed up. So once you get that first one on, it's okay to go ahead and cut this one open as well. Okay, so we got those two. And what we're going to use to put those on, this is an installation cone. These are cones that we make. It's a, it's a finely engineered tool. It's not something you're going to throw away after you use it, and you can use it for years. So it's definitely something you, you want to look at purchasing. Slide the seals right over the cone. And as you can see, it's hollow. You'll just slide that right over the stem and just roll the seals into the groove. Like so. Okay. Now you're going to see you have three seals left. Now these are all the same. What we do is include an extra one in case you have an accident. We'll use our installation tool again. 
Now these seals will stretch out pretty quick, so you want to be sure to get them on the on the installation cone and get them off pretty quickly. Now what I did was just slid those right back over the other seals that we put on, as you can see. Okay? Now another tool that we sell, this is called a resizing tool. Once we have all this back together, we will slide this resizing tool over those seals. Kind of brings everything back to shape and ensures that it's, you know, when we slide it back into the body, everything is going to slide in nice and smooth. We're not going to slice any seals or anything like that and cause you any leaks. The seal kit does come with an extra one of these, these seals that might get, get, get sliced, but you try to avoid doing that if you can. So at that point, we're ready to put it back together. So we'll get a little molly grease, grease up these seals, and it should just slide right back into the body nice and smooth, like so. Now if you'll notice, this ball hole here is a little bit higher than this one here. One's up here, one's up here. We're going to want to do the, the highest one first. So what I'll do is just drop the balls in there and turn the swivel as I put the balls in and they'll just fall into place. Now every seal kit we sell is going to come with the right amount of balls so you don't have to worry about counting the balls or you just might see a little gap in between them when, you, when you're finished. That's normal. Okay, and then I'll just take my screwdriver, push them, make sure they're all in there. And then take a new greaser that came with the seal kit, screw it in, and then we'll flip it over, we're ready for the other hole. We got it full. Now we'll take one of the lock washers that came with the seal kit and the bolt that we set aside from earlier when we took it apart. And we'll just screw it right back in. And then we'll tighten everything up. Now it's real important when you tighten this that the hex on the zerk is flush against the body. It's very important that this gets tight. Now this bolt here is going to get tightened to 82 inch pounds. Which really isn't much. So what we'll do is we'll put our grease gun on here and we'll pump grease in it until we get grease coming through that hole. And it's full of grease. And then to maintain this you can pump clean grease right through it. Here you got yourself a brand new swivel. Thanks for watching.